Hello and welcome to our video on epidemiologic concepts, cross-sectional study designs. The learning outcomes of this presentation are to 1. Understand the purpose of cross-sectional study designs. 2. Understand the difference between cross-sectional versus longitudinal research. And 3. Understand the applications of cross-sectional research. Cross-sectional study design is a type of observational study design and is known to be a snapshot in time. It measures an outcome and the variables involving exposure or increased risk at the same point in time. Participants in a cross-sectional research are selected based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria set for the study, such as the presence or absence of a disease or engaging in specific types of health-related behaviours. Cross-sectional study participants are measured for outcome and exposure at the same and can highlight epidemiologic measures, such as prevalence and risk of association in specific behaviours via odds ratios. The main difference between cross-sectional versus longitudinal study designs is that cross-sectional studies interview a sample of different people within a specific moment in time, whereas longitudinal studies follow the same sample of people over time. Cross-sectional research is useful in establishing links and associations, while longitudinal research can assess cause and effect. This slide helps visualise cross-sectional research design. Looking within a snapshot in time, this type of research can identify individuals and analyse them in terms of exposure and non-exposure to an infectious disease and from such data, prevalence rates can be developed. Strengths of cross-sectional research include 1. Ease of conducting that type of research 2. Currentness of that type of research place and time 3. Cross-sectional research can be a great benefit for descriptive analyses such as risk and prevalence of specific types of morbidities. And 4. Cross-sectional research is a good design style to springboard into future research with more multivariate and intricate methods. Disadvantages of cross-sectional research include 1. Lack of cause and effect associations. 2. Missing or inaccurate data collection. 3. Cross sectional research lacks longitudinal specificity and power because it does not follow people over time. This slide illustrates a quick and easy way to compare the condition of glass wearing and consumption of carrots in children. This exploration looks across age groups and compares variables of wearing glasses and eating carrots within a specific period of time. In the concluding slide, general characteristics of cross-sectional research are restated. Thank you for watching and have a great day.